Hello everyone and welcome to day one of our 40-day journey of prayer and reflection. I'm Pastor Day and I'm thrilled to embark on this spiritual adventure with you. Today, our focus is on the theme of power. For our Believe It section, let's look at a key verse that sets the tone for today. It's found in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Now, let's delve into this verse with our Live It section, where we explore three practical spiritual lessons. First, the Holy Spirit gives us power. Would you like to experience God's power? Do you crave it? Do you desire it? Well, then seek an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Pause the video right now and take a moment to pray for God to fill you with His Holy Spirit. Welcome back. I trust the time of prayer was refreshing. Okay, number two, His power helps us to be effective witnesses. A person that has the Holy Spirit cannot keep silent. Just as the purpose of a car is to transport, the purpose of a hammer was to pound nails, and the purpose of a cup of water is to quench a person's thirst, the Holy Spirit's purpose in your life is to help you share Jesus with others. Who can you think of right now who needs Jesus? Third, witnessing should have both local and global purposes. Jesus sent his disciples to share the good news in three regions, one in Jerusalem, Jerusalem symbolizes those closest to you geographically, culturally, and linguistically. Two, in Judea. Judea symbolizes your acquaintances, your casual friends. And three, in Samaria. Samaria symbolizes those hostile to the gospel. Okay, let's move on to our share it section. Today begins the 40 days of prayer and witnessing. So your first assignment is to identify three persons in your city that you're going to reach out to for the next 40 days. These persons should be, one of them should be from Jerusalem, someone very close to you, like a friend or a relative. Another one should be in Judea, someone like yourself, an acquaintance. And another one should be in Samaria, someone radically different from you, a stranger. Take a moment right now to write their names down. Pause the video if you need to for a little more time. Great, now that you've identified those individuals, let's commit to reaching out to them over the next 40 days. Now let's pray it. During these 40 days, we're gonna pray for our local evangelism and specific aspects of it. Today, let's pray for our evangelist that's coming. Pray for his messages, pray for his health, and pray for clarity of mind as he prepares the messages for us. Pause the video right now and spend some time in prayer. Welcome back. Your prayers are powerful and they make a real difference. I want to thank you for joining me on this first day. Let's continue to seek God's power, live out our faith boldly, share His love with others, and pray earnestly for those around us. I look forward to walking this journey with you. I'll see you tomorrow and God bless.